let us first discuss about the if statement. The general form of if statement is if this condition is true, the condition written inside the parenthesis. If this condition is true, execute this statement. The if keyword tells the compiler that whatever follows is a decision control instruction. The conditions for the if are written inside the parenthesis. And remember, if is a keyword. If this condition is true, the statement is executed. If this condition is not true, the statement is not executed. Instead, it will go past it. Let's see what it looks like in a flowchart. So consider the stars as something that is there before the if condition. So in the if condition, we check is the condition true. If it is true, do this and go to the stop condition or do whatever comes after this. If this condition is not true, then directly go here. Do not go through this path. So in a way, we are controlling the path that the program is taking. If the condition is true, we take this path. If the condition is false, we come directly to this path. Let us see this with an example. So here I have a simple program. And let me change it to include a variable. Let's say I call it int num equals to 5. Sorry. And then I'll write an if statement. If and I start the brackets num we give double equals to for comparison. I'll show you all these comparison operators after this program. If num is equals to 5, then I want to print the number is 5. Let's go ahead and build this. So I get here the number is 5. Oops, I made a typo. Now let me change this value to 4. I build it again and I run it. But this time I don't see any output. Why I don't see any output is because I have given a condition. If number is equal to 5, then print this. But my number value is 4. So this condition is evaluated to false. Now to show you that uh, it indeed takes true or false, let me write here just true. When I go to build this program, what I see is an error that true is undeclared. That's because C does not understand the word true and it is indeed defined in a library called stdbool. So let us just include that. We we'll try and build once again and we see that all the errors are gone. Let's execute this and see and we see that the number is 5 statement is getting printed when we have mentioned true here. Let's change it to false and build it. We run it and see and we see that it is not executed. So one thing to note here is Any condition what we give inside the if parenthesis will be checked whether the condition is true or false and then the decision will be taken whether the statement has to be executed or not. One more thing is for an if statement the immediate block is considered. That means if I write an if here the immediate block is here nothing but the printf statement and only this is considered. If I write one more printf statement or for that matter any other statement but since we are using only printf to understand the flow I'm writing a printf statement this is outside if let me execute this we have seen that this was not getting executed when this is false but this line is still getting printed here so that means the if is not considering this statement as a part of its block. So what happens if we want to have more than one statement a part of the if block? We can add them in parenthesis. So we add them in curly braces. 
like here from this from this place to this place is a block of this if statement so whatever we write inside this parenthesis will be considered to be a part of the if block so i can write one more print of statement here let me execute this and see if i run this i am not getting this statement here that is because this statement is considered to be a part of this ifs block and the condition is false let's change it to true we build it again and run it now we get this statement this is inside if the number is 5 this is outside if so the flow is it's checking for this condition the condition is true it's executing these two statements and then it is executing this statement so this is how if blocks work it's always good to use parenthesis whenever we use if statements because in this situation where we don't use parenthesis let's say i take only this and i build it let me close this i build and i execute it so all the statements are getting uh, printed but if i change it to false and let me give a slash and here build you see only this statement is getting disabled only this statement is not executed as part of this if sorry only this statement is not displayed here that is because for this if only this statement is inside its block or we can say inside its authority to execute or not execute but if we want both the statements we have to put them in parenthesis and it's always good to include even if one statement include it in parenthesis so that there is no confusion now if i run it again let's first build it since any change we make calls for a build and now we see these two statements are not executed so for an if statement for a if condition if we want more than one statements to be executed based on the condition we have to include them in the parenthesis and it's always a good practice to include even if there is one statement include it in the parenthesis so the general form of if statement is if this condition is true execute this statement or a better way would be to say if check for an expression and then the statement so if this expression is true all the statements will be executed if the statement is false this statement will be skipped if statement also works for arithmetic expressions 3 plus 2 modulo 5 is a non zero value and in c a zero is considered to be false and any non zero value is considered to be true so this statement will get executed similarly for a equals to 10 a equals to 10 is basically an assignment so we are assigning the value of 10 to a and this statement gets printed even if for even if the condition is minus 5 it will get executed let's see this again in a program so let me write the exact same statements that are here if 3 plus 2 modulo 5 printer if num equals to 10 this also works and lastly i check for a negative value if minus 5 yes. 
two works. So one more thing I want to tell you is like I said this is an assignment. We are assigning the value of 10 to num. So at the end we'll just print the value of num and see if 10 was actually assigned to it. So we'll just print We'll fill this code, the no errors. Let's run this and see. So we have this works. This also works. Amazingly, this works too. And the value of num is 10. So in this statement, 10 was assigned to this number. And since the execution happened perfectly, it returned true and this executed. Minus 5 is a non zero value, and any non zero value is considered to be true. So this was executed. This is also a non-zero value after execution. So this is also executed. Let me change this to make it zero. Build it again. And run it. So as soon as I change it to zero, this statement is not printed. So that is how if statements work in C.